From Jet 24, here's meteorologist Craig Flint, your weather authority. Good Sunday evening, everyone. This is a live look down in Crawford County right now in Meadville at the corner of French Creek Parkway. And you may just be able to see that we are starting to get a little bit of light snow. Now, the most impactful snow from this next system will be to the south. But even like here into like Crawford County, it's only going to be an inch, two or three uh, before all is said and done. Uh, bigger impacts, though, as you make your way uh, to the south and east, that's where the winter storm warnings are. So you see all the pink on the map here as you make your way south and east into uh, southeast Pennsylvania through much of New Jersey, up the Hudson Valley and New York State, over into New England. Pretty impactful snow uh, for that part of the country. For us locally, a uh, couple of things are going on here. One, we have an old storm system that's weakening. We have dry air in place, so uh, we don't anticipate much in the way of any steady snow. The highest chance would be to the south. Uh, but as that storm system weakens, it's in the process of transferring its energy to the coast where we will get that new storm developing, and that's where we will see the snow really pile up uh, well to the south and east. Weather watchers checking in tonight. Everyone's pretty much in the low 30s. That's not too bad, right? Uh, for uh, evening in January. So low 30s northeast of Penn State Barron, Niagara Pier at 34, 33 right now in Fairview, 34 as you make your way towards Lake City, 31 in Edinburgh. Temperatures are in the upper 20s as you make your way towards French Creek and Cory. Into Warren County tonight, numbers here, upper 20s to near 30 in Youngsville, 31 right now in Cambridge Springs, Meadville at 32 with a little bit of light snow there, 32 in Sagertown. Espyville checking in at 33. So I, I mentioned this kind of two-part system. You can pick it out right here on the satellite picture. That is a decaying area of low pressure in the process of transferring its energy to the coast. And again, with that northeasterly wind that we've had, that's dry air. So we have to overcome this dry air here as we head into the evening. And I think we will. So there will be some light snow uh, developing as we go through the night. But check this out on Futurecast. Uh, as you can see, uh, it almost looks like the snow hits a wall, doesn't it? I mean, look at the northern fringe of that. Sharp cutoff. It is possible that Erie could just see a few flurries out of this. Something a little bit more impactful, though, as you make your way uh, to the south. So there's the northern fringe of the snow. Watch it. It kind of fills in a little bit, flirts with the lake shore. As the new storm gets going on the coast, that's when we will have some occasional light snow developing as we go into Monday. But again, that northeast wind keeping the dry air in place, there could be a little bit of minor lake effect coming up later Monday night, but it does not look like a big deal. So again, watching the new storm form on the coast, and you'll see the snow really pick up in intensity uh, well south and east of Erie. For us, we are just going to have some flurries and light snow showers around as we head through the day. Uh, on Monday. And again, accumulations, it's really not going to be much, especially here in Erie, maybe an inch. Flurries and snow showers developing overnight. Maybe a little bit more down to the south, some light snow possible, one to three inches here. And for the Chautauqua Allegheny region, uh, a new one to three inches with some light snow developing as we head into uh, tonight. And we'll have some occasional light snow and flurries around through the day on Monday. Uh, Groundhog Day, flurries and snow showers taper. Cold in the upper 20s. Wednesday looks pretty nice, 33. The clouds will build Thursday, upper 30s, and then it's a messy system Friday with rain to snow. And then right now, early indications are past next weekend, really cold stuff coming. So we'll see. Highs will be in the 20s Saturday and Sunday with some flurries and light snow showers around. Your Erie.com. Click on weather. Latest updated forecast can be found right there under the weather tab. So you said in tonight we could see a, flu, a few flurries, but not a whole lot of snow. Yeah, it's not going to be much, especially for the city of Erie, but you get to the south, that's where it could be a little bit more impactful. And you said next week is stark and really cold. Yeah, like after next weekend. We'll have to wait and see about that. Got it. Craig, thank you very much. Coming up after the break, we'll take